What's in your heart? Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalms chapter 51 verse 10 As I sat in the church on a recent Sabbath, the pastor was preaching about the prayer. He was making a point that God wants to know what's in our hearts. He doesn't see us as others see us, but God looks at our heart. If you cut open your heart, what will God see? Asked the pastor. Hmm, this got me thinking. I couldn't focus on the sermon anymore. I began to think about my heart and what was really in there. And what does God see? My life hasn't been a Disney movie. There has never been a happily ever after for me. I thought about my day at church and what was in my heart just that day. I know that in my heart I have pain, hurt, grief, loneliness, sadness, and remorse. And that was just from that day. So thanks to my smartphone, I began a search for the word heart in the Bible. Many scriptures came up. I needed to find out what I could do to have a heart that is acceptable to God. As I searched the scripture, I found several promises that God gave me peace, assuring me that I could be acceptable to God regardless of my heart condition. First, 1 John chapter 3 verse 20 reads, For if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Okay, so God knows my pain. Hallelujah. He knows my life experiences that have caused my heart to hurt. Then, in Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26, I found this promise. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony, painful, hurting, lonely, grieving, remorseful, sinful heart, and I will give you a heart of flesh. In Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5, I read, Trust in the Lord with all of thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. So instead of trusting myself and my feelings, I must trust God to work out my life for me. And last I discovered that I must delight myself also in the Lord and He shall give me the desires of my heart. My heart desires peace. My heart desires to be free from loneliness and pain. My stony heart wants to be replaced with a heart of flesh so I can be available for God to go where He leads me. Eva M. Starner So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and share your thoughts.